Hey everybody, this is Mr. Wolf here, and this geometry lesson is on isosceles and equilateral triangles. So let's go ahead and begin, you guys. Let's start off with the isosceles triangle. Okay, the isosceles triangle, they have two equal sides right here, and the two equal sides are called the legs. The third side is called the base, and the angles with the base are called the base angles, and so this uh, leftover angle up here is called the vertex angle. Now they don't have to be looking like this. It could be uh, an obtuse triangle like this, you guys, where these guys are the legs right here, so this would be the base right here, meaning these guys would be the base angles, and the vertex angle would be right here. It could even be a right triangle like this guy right here, where these guys are the legs right here, and if these are the legs, then this one must be the base, making these the base angles and this the vertex angle. Just remember, I saw these triangles, there's two equal legs and the third side is the base and the base always contains the base angles and that leftover angle is the vertex angle. Alright, so here's some theorems you guys. Uh, the first one is the, those base angles in an isosceles triangle has to be isosceles but they're always congruent. And if a triangle is equilateral it is also equiangular and each of those angles in an equilateral slash equiangular triangle is 60 degrees. Okay, so in this triangle, triangle um, uh, OGD, uh, OG is congruent to OD, so this side right here is congruent to this side right here, so name two congruent angles, okay? Alright, so remember if these two sides are equal, then these guys are the legs right here, so that makes this guy the base right here, so these base angles are congruent, okay? So this is what this is, the base angles are congruent, so G would be congruent to uh, D, okay? Uh, let's try this one. In this figure, find the measure of angle A and angle T. Alright, so I have another isosceles triangle. These are the legs, so that means this is the base. So this is a base angle, this is a base angle, so this must be 65 degrees. Okay, so angle T is 65 degrees. And remember, a triangle adds up to 180, so 65 plus 65 is 130. I need 50 more to get me that one up there, so angle A is 50. Okay? Alright. Uh, find the values of X and Y. Okay, so here's uh, here's number one. Okay, it looks like uh, here because of these angle markings right here, this is an equiangular triangle right there, and since it's equiangular, it's also equilateral. So if this side's seven, this side's seven right here. So X equals seven. Okay, now look over here. I have an isosceles triangle because these two base angles are congruent right there. So if these two base angles are congruent. These must, this must be the base, so these two guys must be the legs, so they're congruent right there. So remember, this side's 7 right there because this is an equilateral triangle, so that's 7, so y plus 4 equals 7. So when you set y plus 4 equal to 7, you subtract 4 and you get y equals 3. Okay, same sort of setup, but uh, different markings right here. Well, actually, kind of the same markings right here. Okay, what I'm going to do first is notice that these two legs are equal, so these are the base angles, so I'm going to put a 3x in right there, and then say 3x plus 3x plus 36, remember you've got a triangle right here, equals 180, so those are all going to add up to 180, and that's going to tell me that x equals 24. Okay, now, since uh, these two sides are also equal right there, it's the same length as that, but since these two sides are equal, then this is the base right here, so this is a base angle right here also, so there's a 12y that goes right here. I just need to know what's this angle right here, and since x equals 24, 3 times 24 is 72, okay, and then you got a straight line on the bottom right there, this straight line going right across right there, straight lines are 180, so if this one's 72, this one's going to have to be 108 right there. Okay, so now I'm going to put it the 12y in right there and then start adding them up. 12y plus 12y plus 108 has to equal the triangle 180. Okay, and you end up getting y equals 3. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, find the perimeter of this guy. All right, okay. So this one here, it says we have these two angles are equal. So if these two angles are equal, these are the base angles, which means this is the base. That means these are the legs, so these legs are equal. So I'm going to set 7x minus 1 equal to 5x plus 13. Okay, I get x equals 7. Now that's not the answer. The directions say find the perimeter. So I know this side's 17 right there. I just got to figure out either this side or this side. I know they're equal right there, and then when I figure it out, then I'm going to add all three sides up right there. I think I plugged in 7 right there. 7 times 7 
is 49, and then 49 minus 1 is 48. So this side's 48, this side's 48 because it's isosceles, and then that side's 17. So if I add them all up, I got 113 on that. Okay, that's it.